What's up guys, Adam Murray Pills Box here, and today I'm unboxing something pretty unique and pretty crazy that I had no expectation of ever checking out. And I'm actually going to be doing a couple different videos on this product, I, I think. Um, <laughs> at least the plan for my first impressions. I'm going to do this unboxing and show you all what all it is, and then it I'm going to do a test of one of its features, which I'll mention in a minute, and then I'm going to do a formal review and try to get all of those out there within a couple weeks. So we'll see how it goes and if I stick with it. So what I have here is the Securify Almond Plus touchscreen Wi-Fi router slash range extender. And then I have a couple boxes of various accessories and components that goes with it. And so first we're gonna check out the actual router itself here. Now this is the Almond Plus. The Almond Plus aims to make router setup and configuration and just general networking a lot easier to manage and to use and to do. And so it is in fact a touchscreen router. And on the front here, it claims that it has a three minute touchscreen setup. And this is what we're going to be doing a test video of later is the challenge whether or not I can set it up in three minutes, given that I actually use networking or router interfaces with the, basically they don't want you to have to use the 192.168.1. Whatever your IP address for your router is and actually use like manual setup pages. I do that all the time. So let's see if I can actually figure out the touch screen setup on the side here. It points out some specifications that it does incorporate with home automation, which is what some of these accessories are going to be for is setting up home automation equipment. It, ha it has different modes of being a wireless router, a range extender, or even an access point. It has four gigabit LAN ports. It puts out a gigabit Wi-Fi. has two USB 3.0 ports for file sharing. No monthly fees, which should be obvious, but I'm guessing people seem to think that this is a separate service in itself. There is no monthly fees for this. You're paying for your internet already. Don't make somebody else pay, make you pay for it twice. Setups contained, supports home automation. It's 802.11 a slash b slash g slash n slash ac if we keep adding any more wi-fi frequencies to our routers we're going to need a whole alphabet here and it does do 1300 megabytes per second plus 450 megabyte per second on the second band which is a lower speed and etc there is an app for it to control it and interact with it for ios and google play Opening up the box here. Do, 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 we do have the Almond Plus itself on top here, which is this just very plain, which is good. Like I'm, I'm, I'm meaning of this as good as I can. It is very plain and just pretty much brand free. There is an Almond Plus logo in the bottom right here engraved into the plastic, but it's not too flashy or crazy looking. It's just it looks like a small digital picture frame. And that's really great, because if you flip it over onto the back here, it actually has two wall mounting holes, so that way you can put it on your wall and just have a touchscreen router sitting on your wall that you can tap on and not have to do anything crazy. So that's pretty cool that it just looks like a plain black photo frame that's gonna blend in with pretty much anything. And I'll probably hang it up with thumbtacks because I do not commit to where I hang things on my walls and thumbtacks are really easy, at least until I move out in a couple months and my parents make me patch it all up and that's probably going to be a nightmare. Now it does contain venting all around the sides and then a much bigger vent grill on the back here, along with the internet in port and then four gigabit LAN out ports as well as the two USB 3.0 ports on the back here. So that is it for the main physical product tour here. It does have some rubber feet on both the bottom here and on the back, so whatever you set it, whether you stand it up like this, you can stand it up on its back or put it lay it down flat or have it up against their wall no matter what it's up against it's not going to scuff up inside the box we have another box a box inside a box and it says one more thing like master splinter from teenage mutant ninja turtle cartoon or was that the grandfather from jackie chan adventures or jake the dragon or something i don't remember we open up the one more thing box here what is this we have, I lost the paper. No, where'd it go? We have here what they're calling the peanut plug. Let me open up the lovely quick start guide here. I'm actually going to use it. What is the peanut plug? It can be used to control and monitor appliances from anywhere in the world. All you need to do is plug in it and 
Plug it into a socket, pair the plug with an almond, and then connect the appliance you want to control to the peanut plug. Once, it, once it's paired, it can be controlled by your free I, almond, almond, I can't talk today. I give up. Almond iOS and Android apps, as well as a standard web browser, works with lights, washers, dryers, heaters, in-wall air conditioners, fans, TV, game consoles, etc. Interesting. Interesting indeed. And it looks like you can add pretty much as many as of these as you want at a time. You just have to have them off, off when you pair it. Not sure why they would say that it works with washers and dryers because they hook up with totally different plugs because they're much more heavy load accessory or you know appliances, but that's okay. So it's just basically a giant wall jack to control an appliance with. This will actually come in very handy. So I am looking forward to, I'm honestly gonna have to make a tough call as to what I actually wanna control with this, but this will come in quite handy. Digging further into the box, we do find some more accessories for the device. We have a flat ethernet cable, which I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull out here because I wanna show off. Uh, one of these actually came with my D-Link network camera that I, ha that I did a review of a while back. Uh, it came with a flat network cable. And I wish more devices came with these and I wish they were a lot more common. They're so much easier to manage. They look so much nicer and they tingle so less often that I don't really see the downfall other than they're probably hard to make, but flat ethernet cables are the way to go. It does come with the appropriate mounting hardware for putting this thing in your, or on your wall. It has, it has the wall anchors and the screws as well as two extra little rubber mounting feet to keep it from sliding on surfaces. Along with that, it comes with two other mounting brackets of sorts, if I can get them out here. Extra brackets for mounting it on your wall, I'm glad to see it coming with things. And actually this one, if I'm correct, should snap right in here. Watch, this isn't going to be what it's for, but I believe, yeah. And so that's actually to set it up and just set it on its side so you don't have to mounted on anything. You can just quite literally stand it up and leave it alone, which is very handy. I don't know how you get that back off without just prying it now though. Okay, you just pry it. Okay. And then you do have a big ass power brick here. Always disappointing to see power bricks this size because it's so hard to plug in anything when everything comes with these giant ass power bricks, but I'll make it work. And then we also in here have a quick, whoa, quick start guide. It just goes over the basics of setting it up, where you plug stuff in, stuff you already really know. So that's really it that comes with the main packaging of the Almond Plus. You get the Almond Plus itself, the peanut plug, which is really cool that they include because companies like D-Link and things like that can charge up to 40 bucks a pop for these things. Now you only get one of course, but one to try out and make sure it's something you'd actually use. Really handy. This will actually help me make that decision because I've been considering these options for a long time and never really known what to think because you can't really try them before you buy them. And then you get various mounting hardware, a very long also flat ethernet cable, which I definitely approve of. I don't know whether or not it is a Cat 6 or Cat 5. It would kind of suck if it's a Cat 5, but that's what the one with the D-Link was, but the D-Link obviously didn't need much bandwidth, but a router would need as much as you can get. And then a giant ass power brick. So let's check out these other accessory boxes real quick here. I do have four. Let's check out this little one. It says, Securify Key Fob. And these of course are just retail samples shipped from Amazon, so if I can even get the box open. Key fob's such a weird word. Fob. Hey, can you can you hand me your fob? Fob. <laughs> so dumb. Alright, inside the fob package, you quite literally get a key fob. It has a lock and an unlock button, a home button, and a star button. And then it comes with a watch battery to install to actually get it powered up. Let me see what the paper says here. I'm not sure with what I would use this. There we go. So it's arm, disarm, reserved, and arm perimeter. So it's for the home security features. Let's see what else is in here. This one says, Securify flood sim sensor A dot 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 PS and browser interface. So we'll see. Okay, we have a sensor. Water sensor. So it's gonna detect whether or not there's water around. 
has some little adapters, 3M mounting strips, and two watch batteries with this bad boy. All right, a Zigbee water detector. And it has a usage example of putting it like behind a washing machine. Well, kind of. Battery powered indoor Zigbee water detector, which monitors and reports the indoor water leak status to the coordinator of a Zigbee home security network. Designed to alert you when water is present and there's potential flooding. That would actually be cool in our basement. We've had some flooding issues recently, which that D-Link camera I keep mentioning, um, I also involved that in by doing a time lapse. So that'll be interesting. I'm actually gonna keep all of this in its own box. It does look like these pins are the actual water sensor. So you just kind of have that hanging down and then it runs up to this, which transmits whether or not there is water to the router. So these pins just kind of carry the battery charge and let you know whether or not it detects water. So I have to say, they've really thought all this out as there's a lot you can hook up with this with all these accessories. There's, they're serious about their home security game here. So this is a motion detector. Wow, and it actually, <laughs> that's pretty cool. I've not actually owned one of these. It looks like your actual standard motion detector. Has a timer, sensitivity, comes with a battery, and a little mounting bracket to screw it onto a wall. Interesting. And then wall mounts, adhesive, etc. Passive infrared sensor, which can detect the levels of infrared radiation from objects within its range of view. Fully compatible with any Zigbee motion detection. So that's pretty cool. The battery, the battery name is Eve. Energy, very endure. Convenient that I'm wearing my dog shirt, so fashion. So battery, very energy, such endure. What? Get out of here. And then lastly, in our last box of goodies here, we have a door slash window alarm to let you know whether or not a door slash window has been opened. So we have mounting hardware, another so battery, very endure battery. We have a little ah, stupid tape. We have the other half of the sensor here. There's part of it here and part of it here and you just hang it up somewhere and it detects whether or not the door has been opened. So all this you can set up and do. This is covering my entire workstation here with this one little router. I'm not sure how much of it I'll actually be able to put to good use given my current setup and things like that, but I think it will get quite the amount of use and getting a range extender in my room is actually going to be quite useful if it's as fast as it says it is. So like I said, we're gonna do a setup test of the router itself and hopefully it turns out all right. Thank you so much for watching this probably pretty lengthy unboxing overview of the Almond Plus from Securify. I'm really looking forward to doing some other videos on this product. And if, if you'd like to get one of these for yourself, I'm actually gonna be doing a giveaway of, the, of one of these on the channel on the actual review. So be sure you're looking for the review of this device as I'm in the actual review, I will be giving one away for one of you lucky subscribers to win. I also wanted to tell you about Securify's Link My Ass program. Yeah, you heard that right. Basically, it's a trade-in program that Securify is offering towards their almond routers, to where if you trade in an old router or router-esque device of yours that has a link in the title, you can get up to $50 towards your almond purchase. This includes D-Link and Linksys, among a few other brands that I don't remember quite off the top of my head. This is a great way to save a few bucks on your almond purchase and probably get rid of some old junk that you have lying around your house if you're upgrading routers. Link to that information will be in the description below. Be ready for that. Otherwise guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Check out our other channels, social media campaigns, and even our YouTube network where you can get a YouTube partnership. All of this and more in the description below. And I will see you in the next video.